Hi, this is Nathan from Ben and Nathan's Tech Stop, and today, obviously, as you probably see, the uh, F1 podcast is wayward. Um, <clears throat> ben is not around, so we can't really do it, and I don't think it's worth doing it on one person, at a one-person level. So, I have uh, found on the Android market for, obviously, for Android smartphones and tablets, the F1.com app, which is pretty good. It displays... Um, the local so you can swap obviously the home screen tells you perhaps one times race times obviously I'm at Monza now and we want to be at a lot higher than that obviously you can go as you can see you can go all the way through every single race that's happened next week or oh, sorry next time on the 6th 7th and 8th of May are the days that the, the Formula 1 in Turkey takes place the Grand Prix Pratt's 1, for example, starts at 8 o'clock, if you can see that on the on the recording. 12 o'clock for Pratt's 2, obviously, you know, so on. Uh, race local time, obviously it changes. Uh, my local time would be Greenwich Mean Time, plus 1, um, for the summer hours. You can also get live timing, which shows you... Uh, it's scrollable. Um, best lap was by Mark Webber in the race. Um, you can get commentary, which is quite good of the race events and this runs through qualifying practice as well um, you can also get, which I find interesting because I'm a bit sad track data, there's some there's some information now that is from the race the track temperature was 26 degrees celsius and the air temperature was 21 degrees um, and it was dry obviously you can get the wind direction wind speed, pressure um, bar, um, humidity track temperature, air temperature, and then there's uh, speed uh, averages I would have thought in kilometres per hour for each driver, or the top drivers at least um, there's also a lap chart which is mind-bogglingly complicated, I'm not even going to try and explain that to you guys today, and then there's the help tab at the bottom obviously um, timing is where it's at, home is where it's really at so say you want to look down, say let's say for the the uh, British Grand Prix. There you go. So it is on the 8th, 9th and 10th of July. Practice 1 starts at 10am. Um, it's 80 days and 12 hours and 59 minutes till that Grand Prix. Um, the Grand Prix will start at 1 o'clock, so basically lunchtime on this day. Um, races, there's the calendar as well. Um, and then you can also get the standings up. So obviously Vettel in the lead at the moment on 28 points. Hamilton second 47 points. Big gap opening there. And the constructors where obviously Red Bull, as you would expect, are running away with it currently. So that's my first app. If you uh, check on our channel, another app will be coming in, well, probably at the same time as this one when I upload it. So this was Nathan for Ben and Nathan's Tech Stop with a uh, quick rundown over the f1.com application for Android smartphones.